It was here, at Wrigley Field, where fans dressed to the gills to see and be seen at the ball game. It was here, at Wrigley Field in 1920, where the Yankees scouted a 17-year-old at a high school game, Lou Gehrig. It was here, at Wrigley Field, where Babe Ruth pointed to center field before launching his legendary called shot into the stands. It was here at Wrigley Field where Stan Musial got his 3,000th hit in 1958. And it was here at Wrigley Field where Mr. Cub, Ernie Banks, belted his 500th homer in 1970. And it was here at Wrigley Field where Cy Young winner Greg Mad Dog Maddox pitched his 3,000th strikeout. It was here at Wrigley Field where slugger Sammy Sosa hit historic home runs number 61 and 62 to pass both Babe Ruth and Roger Maris and tie Mark McGuire. And it will most likely be here for another hundred years. It's where Chicago goes to feel good, even when times might be bad. It's where Chicago talks to perfect strangers about baseball, just like they were family. It's where Chicago swizzles beer and downs hot dogs and pretzels. And it's where Chicago will go year after year, long after all of us are dead and gone. If you can't be at the friendly confines a century from now, your children, your grandchildren, and their grandchildren too, will surely be there. Like Ron Santo Jr. and I expressed to our fathers, and you probably did too, the cry will never die. at the ball game at Wrigley Field.